time for everybody's favorite character, and by everybody, I mean me. Ymir. And this time we're going to use the chibi skin, because the last two times I've played Ymir, people were like, please use the chibi skin, and who am I to not use the chibi skin? I love the chibi skin. Uh, I think chi the chibi skin's one of his best skins, and it's weird to say that because Baron Frostchild's my favorite skin, but I still think this skin's, like, better quality than that one. It's weird. It's a weird thing. But I thought we would try, you know... Ooh, this matchup. Did I already do this matchup on YouTube? I hope not. Or not recently, anyways. But this matchup's a super interesting one. Um, and I will explain to you guys why. So, you would think... Oh, I'm fighting Bologna as Ymir. I shouldn't go an auto-attack build. Because Bologna's an anti-auto-attack character, right? Well, that's how I used to lose this matchup all the time. I would try not going auto-attack. And I would lose this matchup. Because what Bologna does is she'll box you in her one... And she, every time you auto, she's absorbing and reflecting that auto attack. And that's a big auto attack. And you miss out on almost all of Ymir's damage by doing that. Um, so instead, if you're against Blona, you should actually go uh, attack speed. And we're actually going to let her take this. Oh, wait, are we? I might be able to steal it. No, I can't. Although she has to sacrifice time, which is awesome. Yeah, so against Blona, we want to go attack speed so that we can shred through her block stacks on her one. Because if we don't, you, you actually can't kill her. She's too tanky. So that's a big thing for this matchup. Without that, uh, this matchup is almost like nearly impossible. Because it's so funny. There's like dozens of matchups that I used to lose almost every time as you mirror. And then I would slowly learn what to do against them right and this is one of those things that you want to go attack speed against a Bologna. and it seems so counterintuitive but it's good uh another one of those matchups is against a chunga uh that matchup used to be difficult for me and basically what i learned is she can't use her two if she's in the middle of her other abilities so you just freeze her when she's using that all right she's in a kind of a bad spot we don't want to waste our freeze unless we can hit it don't really want to fight here because she has mannequins. Okay, now I want to fight her because I can clear the wave and she doesn't have her ultimate. Oh no, I'm getting. You're not getting away. <laughs> I'm getting this. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful start. Now we recall. She also rushed defense too. So, uh, yeah, no, uh, this, this is an amazing start for us. But of course. Uh, especially on this dual map, while early kills are nice, it definitely means the, the game's not over. We still have to pay attention. We still have to focus. Uh, because at any point, if she kills us, she could get back into it and beat us, you know. So, can't let her guard down. I was actually going to think about going mannequins, but I think Gilded Arrow for the attack speed is better in this matchup in particular. Whoops. One thing we can do is when she uses her hammer, I couldn't do it there. But if my wall is up, I can block off her hammer with the with the wall. Or freeze her, of course. Uh, either one, really. Like that. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah, this matchup, like I said, used used to be hard for me. But now, I actually think Ymir takes it. Oh, she didn't ult there. Incredible. Incredible that she held on to that there. I love the wall in this skin. It just does different Ymir faces. Look at that. <laughs> I have over a thousand gold ahead of her. We are... We are getting really far ahead right now. Alright, let's finish this uh, demonic. And then I want more attack speed slash defense. Uh, let's go Hekate. Or... I don't know. Telkines is okay on Ymir, but I do want a lot of attack speed. The reason I'm going Demonic first is because, again, she rushed defense. If she didn't rush defense, we could have gone Hikate first. Yeah, we're in a really, really good spot. All right, let's continue. Freeze her out of that. I, I got too greedy there. That's okay. Uh, she should die. Unless she pops beats. Yeah, I got too greedy there. I tried doing two auto attacks before I used my two after freezing her. 
And, uh, yeah, she wasn't stunned long enough, which is okay. If she stays here, she's dead. She does not have bees or anything. Yeah, she didn't... Ooh. She didn't have bees. She didn't have ultimate. Yeah, it was just guaranteed death. Okay, I need to back off, actually. Only after I get the minions, of course. I have 5,100 gold. She has 3,660. Alright, we get our next item. She's got full Ansel now, so we will have to keep track of that. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. It's really good start to this game. I'm 4 though. It's actually kind of nutty. Just a little bit. I'm so excited because next patch they buff Gilded Arrow too. And as you guys can tell by all my videos, I go Gilded Arrow all the time. So the fact that they're buffing Gilded Arrow to be 20 auto attack damage. I mean, that's that's basically doubled in mirror. That's 10 extra auto attack damage. And the early game, that is so much. Maybe not as much as mannequins, but still really good. Oh, oh no, Bologna. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Because a five minute game wouldn't be very excited. I'm going to quickly stop this recording and then we're going to go into another game immediately so that you guys don't know how the people that just clicked on the video don't know how the how the Bologna game was going to go. And for those that watch the entire thing, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you get two games. So I'm going to swap into that. Be right back. All right. We are up against a Fenrir now and we are going to go uh, pretty much the same start. I could go mannequins if we want to try hard, try hard, but... I mean, why not stick with the old reliable, right? And against Fender, uh, I kind of want a Bancrofts and either a Beads or a Blink. If I'm more, if I want to be aggressive, I want Blink, and that is what I am going to do. So yeah, I I don't really do this too often, but I figure, hey, let's just do two games in a row because uh, the Bologna game was so short and sweet, it can kind of just fit together, and I think it'll be cool to have like a double like a double game type situation going on you know let's go ward that oh actually i'm way too late so i'm just gonna go straight for red which is all good and fine we can either start at red or blue buff honestly it's about the same on ymir on other guardians uh it's like very important to start out blue on ymir it's it's honestly either or you just have to be more careful with your mana if you start red but you have a ton more damage Perfect. Now we go for our blue buff. This matchup, let me let me think about this matchup. I'm pretty sure this matchup's really good for Ymir. Uh it's not like perfect. I mean Fenrir can still win it if he goes like an auto attack hybrid build. But I think Ymir does win it. Oh, he's proxying me? Or trying to? And if he's proxying me, I can only assume he's gonna go for my speed, right? Which means I just go for his speed. What's what's the point? Look how low health he is. In fact, no, I'm just going to go kill him. Yeah, you don't even get my speed, man. What are you doing? You can't proxy, proxy that. Oh, he already took the speed. Oh, then I am incorrect. We just push this and I go steal his speed, I think. Yeah, that was a weird start. I don't think it was a good start, considering how much damage he took. He did kill, uh... I did lose a few archers and stuff, but... I think he loses the same. Like, basically, we both of us did three buffs. Um, we'll, we'll find out. I'm gonna kill this, and then we'll see who's ahead. And whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm ahead right now. And he's gotta back off, because he has no health. I mean, it's always good to try new strategies, right? Might as well try it. If I did double buff, I think that strap might have gone better for him. Yeah, he's, he's back. If he tried ulting me there, I would have just ulted. We would have been fine. Alright, we are a level ahead. Although he'll get his level 6 too. There, he, there it is. Looks like he's going a De Devos. So we should go Divine Ruin. Toxic Blade would work too, but I think Divine's fine. 
I don't really want to use my freeze unless he uses his brood lies because it is so much damage. I don't want to stay too close to his tower. Dodge a leap. Oh, never mind. He didn't leap. Ooh, you know what? I actually do have to play a little bit more careful because of the mannequins. The mannequins makes it a little uh, confusing because if we just sit there autoing each other and I'm just holding on to my freeze, he will kill me. There we go. If he ulted there before I got that ability off and just pulled me into tower, it would have been close, but I still probably should have, would have been able to kill him. All right. All right, let's back off. I also wanted to remind everybody that when this video goes up, I'm going to be doing a special stream on my Twitch channel. It's a it's a thing I like to call a ski C scoop challenge. Um, the reason it's called C scoop is just because the original content creator that came up with the challenge, his username was C scoop, but it's a modified version of it where basically I'll be playing Minecraft and just uh, I guess trying to keep, kill the Ender Dragon and just a bunch of different other stuff. But uh, basically, you can come into stream and you can start like spawning zombies and shit and creepers and i even added a few fun things like something called the holy hand grenade and stuff i programmed it all myself and if you guys want to come by and do that it'll be it'll be a lot of fun i promise so yeah some information about that will will just be on my stream honestly if you just go to that all right use his beads i don't really feel comfortable fighting him here he's gonna brutalize me i can't really do anything about it why did he cancel that why did you cancel that, good sir? Ooh, you're still dead though. I have blink. <gasps> no, you did not. No, you didn't. Oh, the wall was terrible. Ah, the terrible wall off. Yeah, I hate to see it. Doesn't matter because I still won the fight though. Yeah, I think going the beads or the blink over beads is fine here just because I'm playing so aggressive right now. Um, but we definitely do want beads in the late game because, you know, we don't want him pulling us into fountain and stuff like that. Um, I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll pop a potion. And we'll just uh, keep fighting. His ultimate's down, so I don't mind playing a little forward right now. He has red buff on him, so I know the right red buff's down. Look how many minions we have. By keeping him away, he's actually missing out on so much. And he's losing his tower too. It's just so bad for him. I mean, even here, if he doesn't get these archers, it's just so much XP and gold gone. Yeah, that's devastating for him, quite honestly. Can I take his speed? Man, it so, makes me so sad I don't have my diamond teamer border. Was this, was this going to be a pestilence or a bulwark? I do not know. Also, item-wise, I think I'm going to go with demonic now. Uh, demonic's good on you, Mare. Good item. A lot of my builds are super similar, but they're not cookie-cutter builds. Cookie cutter builds in Smite are something where you go into a game and you're like, I'm building this no matter what. That's bad in Duel. Because if you go a cookie cutter build and your opponent does something weird, they're probably going to beat you because you you're can't. you not counter building it. Like if he built an Aussie next item, I would immediately like be like, all right, I need anti-heal now, right? I'm going to get anti-heal either way, but um, you know, it'd be a higher level of importance. And if he went triple life still, I'd go Toxic Blade too. On top of that, although even with double anti or double life still, I would probably go uh, double anti heal anyways. So weird spot to be, but I have my beat, so I don't feel too bad about being close. I'm gonna place a ward here, so I always know where he is.
Yeah, I didn't even have to use my beads. <laughs> Ooh, I took too many shots from that. Can I bait his jump? Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Who's gonna use their ability first? I sure as hell am not using my freeze first. Don't lazy back. Don't do it. I said don't do it. I was hoping with the life still I would heal just enough. <laughs> was that worth it? Probably not, but it was fun. <laughs> it's much more fun going for stuff like that. Why not? Why not? Let's get our defense. I think we're going to go Breastplate of Valor just to get our cooldowns online. Uh, we can consider a Contagion or Emperor's, but I think Breastplate's the way to go right now. And then actually this Sunday, I'm actually doing a tarot stream. I don't know if I mentioned that on YouTube, but I did a I did a charity stream a while back, and one of the goals was if we raise enough, I would do a tarot stream, and we raised enough. And Terra is one of my least favorite gods to play, so we'll be playing Terra the entire time. Also, you got talisman. That will be this Sunday. I'll be playing Terra and duel. If he leaps in place, he's dead. If he does nothing, he's dead. Okay, good talk. Oh, well, I mean, he lives, but uh, he had to use everything for it. Oh, he's going Tasman into some sort of move and speed item, which means he's going to be speedy. Would it be weird if I went Hasten Ring against Fenrir? I usually go Hasten Ring against gods without escapes. Because then you can just stay right next to them. But against... Against... Against Fenrir? I don't know. Toxic Blade could be good instead of Divine. I was going to go Divine, but now that he's going movement speed, uh, Toxic Blade might be the better item. He's also healing a ton. I still need... So, we need to decide... Toxic Blade or Divine. I think the mobility could be super worth it here. Just because he is going double move at speed items. Yeah, let's go Toxic Blade. I think either could work, but Toxic Blade will give us better chase. already level 16 which is awesome we're gonna go clear the wave then take blue buff and then i think we're good to go oh also i have a question for you guys if anybody's good with audio uh my microphone it does this these weird like audio hiccups every now and then and i'm sure you guys have heard them in the video i try to like minimize them by editing them out and stuff but I don't know why sometimes it just does these audio hiccups where it like gets loud and then quiet again. If anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. I don't know if it's uh, my microphone or if it's just RTX voice because that's what I use as well. Or what if it's something obvious. If it is, please yeah, just let me know. Uh, if not, then I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. I really want to get better audio going. A while back, I bought an audio mixer, but it didn't even work. So I'm without an audio mixer currently. I'll probably get one eventually. Oh, he did go Toxic Blade. Okay. So we, he has Tosman plus Toxic. He's very fast. He's a speedy boy. Whoops. Didn't get the last hit there. Last hits aren't, like, super important, but they're nice. In other MOBAs, they're like, do or die. He just uses his beads. I'll use my beads. I haven't used them once. Go 
Oh, whoops. He leaped away. He didn't even leap towards me. Eh, let's not fight him. We'll back off. He got... We got his ult. He got my beads. We'll back off. He's actually starting to kind of win the fights. Just because uh, his auto attack is kind of coming through. Like I said at the beginning of the game, if he goes a hybrid build, that's when it could get scary. Because late game auto attack Fenrir, or excuse me, hybrid auto attack Fenrir, is better than ability based Fenrir. So, yeah, let's finish this item. Uh, I think we should save for our starter item. And also, outside of upgrade beads, upgrade beads is good. It's our lifeline right now. So, until these beads are back up, I probably shouldn't cross this line. I mean, it's like I can counter ult him, but if I'm slow on it, we could take way too much damage. Good stuff. Ooh, I missed. Ooh, if he's, is he going Magi's Cloak? That could make things interesting. I don't think Magi's Cloak is an amazing item against Ymir, but it definitely makes... It makes you have a better chance in the fights, strangely enough. But you just do less. That's bad. That's very bad. Oh my goodness. He didn't have the stun. If he had the stun, I was 100% dead. I started moving away, and then when he leaped, I tried like moving back, hoping I could juke him, but I did not. But he didn't have the stun up. I think if he did like one more auto attack, uh, he would have stunned and killed me. He had time to do it. That's really unfortunate for him, but as you can see, uh, this game is not over yet. He's starting to win the fights. And I cannot take that Phoenix yet. Whoops, I didn't mean to place that in Phoenix. I just meant to place it next to Phoenix. Looks like he's going down the middle of the lane, which means I'm safe to take this and recall. We'll probably lose our tower, but that's all right. Upgrade this into Diamond Arrow. I wish Ornate Arrow worked on Ymir, but it does not. You don't get the crit chance. Makes me so sad. Uh, oh well. If only Ymir could crit. Back in beta, he could crit. And he would hit like a truck. We have so much attack speed right now, it's actually ridiculous. Oh wait, this is up. I thought it wasn't. And our autos are hitting like for almost 500. Okay, we want to get his bubble. And then we'll, I, we can either box him with autos or just run. Okay, we're going to need to start staying with our wave as well because we can't chase him. He's just too fast. We can chase him a little bit, but not too much. Although that red buff is tempting. Man, I don't want to freeze unless I can guarantee get the bubble. Like that. Okay, cool. Look at our attack speed, oh my goodness. And I am going a serious Ymir build, right, by the way. This is how I generally build him most of the time. Oh, he's super dead. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, good sir. And that could be game because we have full minion wave. I'm not sure yet. We just have so much auto attack damage. I think that's game. Oh, my attack speed slowing down. Oh, we got it. And there we go, you guys. Yeah, that Fenrir, uh, his, his build actually was bringing him back into that game. That one time where I freezed and he was a little bit late to the one, if I missed my freeze there, that would have been really, really bad. It would have gone slightly differently for that next fight. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the game, You know, both the Bologna and the Fenrir game. And thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. 2195. All right, bye everybody. 
I also wanted to highlight this person's comment because they spent so much time going to detail on which items work on Horus and Hydra's does in fact work on Horus after all and the explanations in this comment and I just had to include that as a favorite comment. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-ba Ba-ba-da-ba-ba